just couldn't do the midnight. I was so tired. It seemed like about 10.30, I started getting sleepy as heck. So we decided, let's just do our 4 a.m. and try it again tomorrow to see if we can do midnight. Old as heck out here, but we made it. We made it. It is not quite four o'clock, so we about to go get this done. This morning, I just did not want to be here. I don't want to be here today. I really don't want to be here. Oh gosh. Well, go stretching. I'm doing this today, so let me get at it. Once again, some very embarrassing body shots of me, but I know that this is going to change and I can look back at this video and see how my body has transformed. And I want to share this with you guys so you guys can see the transformation and it can inspire you to keep pushing as well. I did 15, 15 minutes at 3.5 and 3 incline. All right, so still not feeling it, and I'm trying to amp myself up and get prepared so I can start this 30 minute workout. Yeah. So I'm just adjusting my little waistband and getting myself together. If you didn't see my must-have videos, oh, I didn't share that yet. I got to get that must-have for working out videos out to you guys. But yeah, I was feeling some type of way. I didn't want to be here, but I pushed through. I pushed through. I pushed through. My bed felt so good this morning, and I could have stayed in it. But is that going to get me closer to my goals? Mm, no. So I pushed through, and guys, after I got about 85% through, I felt amazing. I felt amazing. I started getting energy and feeling so much better. As you can see, you'll see a little bit later that I start uh, dancing and stuff because I was like, I did it. I did it. Sometimes you have to push through and um, cheer for your own self and basically pep talk your own self. And that's what I have to do to get up every morning to make sure that I'm putting the videos out to share this journey with you and don't give up on myself because it'll be like I'm giving up on you guys as well. Why, but my camera cut off right on my last step up thing whatever y'all i did not want to be here but once i got like 85 percent through my workout i felt awesome so i felt like i got a boost of energy and yeah i gotta get my gloves because i ain't trying to have no calluses on my hands i'm not trying to have that so yeah today i was feeling a hot mess just about a lot of things about my eating. I was kind of upset with myself for eating rice, but then I was like, it's an OMAD. It's supposed to be you get all your calories in one sitting, but I still feel like, oh, I didn't have to have the rice. Even though I can eat what I want, I really want to stop eating that anyway. So why would I eat, huh? Girl, I'm just a talking and walking. <laughs> I forgot, I ain't even paying attention. Oh, he not up here neither? Oh, he, you didn't see him? Oh, no, you're not even up here. Yeah, so I'll talk to y'all more about that in a little bit. Oh, gosh. Guys, right, this is the burn for today. I'm an hour and 17 minutes and 467 calories. See you in a little bit. Guys, it's helping me so much. I told you I had to do more research on the one meal a day. Um, I don't know if it's like bringing toxins out my face or whatever. My face is looking so terrible, y'all. But I'm watching um, fit, Fast Fledge Fitness or whatever. Wait, let me see. Fledge Fitness. He is the bomb with intermittent fasting and old mad one meal a day. He making it make sense. He making it make so much sense. And I'm thinking that I want to just really... I love him. Um, yeah, he's making it sound so much more. Yeah, he's he he's saying things that I've been thinking through these couple days, like that made me want to quit or make me not want to do it. 
and I'm going to try my best to stick out this week and go on to the next week and hopefully on to the next week I'm going to try my best to stick it out. My goal is to achieve um, a certain amount mentally. I have to see a certain amount on my scale and be able to fit in certain things um, that I have that I've kept to make me feel like I'm over that hump and I can just say, hey, girl, you don't want to mess up what you've done so far. So how about you? Um, yeah, I chip this. If you want to know, I got a band aid. I chip my real nail and it's like way up here, like chip almost to the halfway point. And I don't want it to rip off. That's going to hurt so bad. So I taped it down. So, yeah, I'm just like, I was telling my mom in law, I said, my problem is, and he was saying, don't get frustrated. He talked about that in here. I said, my problem is I wanted to see, I want to see results. And we all do. That's what we do it for. But um, I also want to get to that point. I'm striving to get to that point where I can, ooh, 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 disgusting, where I can um, see that mark that I need to see mentally and I feel like girl you don't want to mess up with all your work you know what I mean and then it's like I push even harder because I know I'm over a certain mark or I've reached a certain feeling or a look that I want um and I'm not and that's not my ultimate goal it's just something minor but I just gotta feel it and I gotta see it so um yeah that's where I need to be and um I'm just watching these videos. I got back from the gym. I took a shower and I'm just trying to finish guzzling on this. I didn't hardly drink no water while I was at the gym. So I want to finish this and finish my other cup that's sitting right here. And he's talking now about willpower and stuff. And that's what I need. I need willpower. I definitely need willpower. And I'm just trying to understand old Matt a little bit better. A little bit better. So, yeah. I'm going to be trying to do my little confessions like this so I don't have to have the video so long. But yeah, I definitely need willpower. I have willpower. I do. I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it. I got willpower. I'm going to do this. All right, y'all. I think that I'm really going to rock with this OMAD, the one meal a day. It is like earlier I took, I went to sleep and I woke up about 10 something. Um, And uh, now it's about, it's about 1148. Am I hungry? No. Um, I've been like doing a mind over matter and just drinking my, my water and trying to think positive and it has helped. And I noticed that the cravings that I have or the things that I am thinking about eating are not the things that I would normally want, like cereal cookies and stuff like that. So with that being said, um, my goal is to push through this week and to ultimately do another week after this of the OMAD I'm talking like these videos that I'm watching, these people went so deep, like as far as um to really explain in detail about the body going way back hundreds and hundreds of years ago when people didn't even eat three meals and no snacks a day. They ate um some every couple of days because it was only um, that they ate when they were able to hunt their food, get their food and prepare it. And then because it was so many people and they only ate off the land, it was kind of like they spent their time basically working and doing things to, you know, um, sustain themselves throughout the day that had nothing to do with food. So yeah, it's like they were talking about, um, the eating three meals and all that stuff is like a European thing that was implemented as time went on to create money. And just like a lot of the holidays, everything has changed over the years and it become based around food. And with that being said, they're like, um, people lived and survived way longer than we do today. And then as time went on, you know, they start implementing more things to the point where ailments and different stuff start to come upon us in our bodies because of the way that we were eating. Y'all, I was lazy. I still didn't put no pillowcase on here. Um, yeah, whatever. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, what is this? I don't know. I think I got a cold sore. Either I pop. I did something. You know how your lips be cracking? They pop because it keep getting like a little scab right there. But anywho. Yeah, so. I believe that's that's the way that I want to go. Because I don't like to think about food. When I have to think about it, plan it. It becomes kind of frustrating. 
So my, ma my menu with my family is just normal because, you know, with the OMAD, you get to get more of your calories in at that one sitting. But what I'm understanding is a lot of people um, want to binge because they haven't gotten over the hunger pains and the cravings. So they want to binge. But after so many days, it'll switch up to the point where you don't even crave those things. So when it's time to eat, you want more proteins and vegetables because your body has reset to his natural way of wanting things that are good for the body. It craves the things that are good for the body. So, yeah, we're going to see how this works. I just wanted to come to you guys and let you guys know that, yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be OMAD and my my workout routine. And as that time goes by every week, I'm going to increase the things I do in the intensity on that. But I am trying to see 200 pounds. I need to see 200 pounds. I don't want to see close to three by three, nothing. I want to see 200 pounds. Um, and my ultimate goal, um, I'm thinking my ultimate goal will be 200 because anywhere between 200 and 230, I feel okay. But I feel like um, when I got to 230 before, I kind of, life happened. But if I could have kept pushing um, I would say the ultimate goal would be around exactly 200. So we shall see. You guys are joining me on this journey. I'm excited. Um, I actually feel like I have energy, but after I come from the gym, I just be so tired. And all I want to do is shower and sleep. So tonight will be the first night. I thought it was going to be yesterday, but tonight will be the first night of... Um, so midnight tonight. So you'll be seeing at 6 o'clock in the morning, but tonight will be the first night that I'll try um, midnight. Um, and then that'll be loaded because this video is going to be for Friday. So that'll be loaded on Monday. Yeah. When I do midnight tonight, I believe that's right. Yeah. Cause that'll be my Friday video. So yes, let's just walk through this and get this. Um, going. I have to put something on my lip and, um, that's another thing I did see a lot of people having dry skin. People are getting cold, sore, sore throats and stuff stuff because the toxins are trying to push out your body and stuff and i had to look up that because this has just been bothering me but we shall um we shall get it right we shall get it right i love you guys and uh yeah let's just see what this day holds i haven't ate a cutie i haven't ate anything i haven't no cuties no nothing okay so yeah I'm, I'm i'm trying to do really well i'm trying to get these videos shortened and to the point and, and give you a glimpse of my day and what i ate for that day and kind of tell you what i'm feeling in my body um yeah so let's just push these videos are so motivating and they're helping me mentally to get gain the willpower to push and say i can do it if they can do it i can do it so chicken breast out and i'm getting ready to season these and then put this over it so i can pound them out to make them flat like a chicken steak i don't like cutting through really thick breasts and i know he's not really thick but i still want them a little bit thinner so i'm going to season them after that and put them in the refrigerator for later i'm going to have green beans and my other deviled eggs that i had that's my plan for today So that's it, just flattening them a little bit so they'll cut better and um, the flavors will get through to them. That's all I do. I'll just put this on and then I get my meat tenderizer. And that's it. So I can make like chicken steaks. So I just have some, a little bit of adobo, garlic, onion powder, black pepper. And I'm going to be putting this on it. Um, which is bold chipotle and I will be baking this or either sauteing it on the stove I don't know depends on how I feel more than likely probably get sauteed and some olive oil on the stove sorry that was my cabinet so, yeah. I told you I've been wanting spicy stuff and I didn't get to use this yet so I really want to try this and that will be my chicken for dinner and you guys can see it once we have it and I'm just gonna kind of rub around you know to get the flavors on all of it yep and put it back in the bowl and that will be it yeah that is it that is it just preparing it so later when it's time to eat I can just throw it in a um, pan because I got to go to a thing with Naya tonight the surprise for her for the swords so um yeah i'll try to get a little bit of that tonight record a little bit of that 
so you, you guys will probably see that in this video so yep about to put in the refrigerator it is 12 16. Right, job. Well, not my garlic roasting this one I have with my chicken and then do the double eggs. Um, I'm eating at six, so that's what I'm cooking now. My chicken has been in the refrigerator marinating. So this is what I'm having. Put a little bit of um, complete seasoning and um, some onion powder and stuff. I like to put extra onion powder and pepper. And um, cover this up. And it's only olive oil at the, at the bottom. And I like these to get real tender. So, yep. To refill all of these parsley, black pepper, um, paprika, can use some more uh, adobo, garlic, and onion powder. So I got all of them out. Then once I fill them, I'm going to put this one on the list because I think this will be basically done. I'm going to put that one on the list. Those ones are still fine. And also my olive oil bottle so that's why i have that as well so i'm getting ready to refill those really quick guys i love using olive oil because it's way better than butter so i put this in a lot of places where i used to put butter on my steaks or butter on my pork chops or butter on my salmon or fish or even vegetables i replace it with that it actually tastes so tasty especially if you're using a lot of herbs and spices so basically check out doing olive oil and replacing your butter and certain things in your meals i got some hot olive oil and i'm going to just start taking these and putting them in here and sauteing them and i was going to do some onions but i'm like eh, i'm not even in the mood to do all that so so like i said it'll be this a whole bunch of green beans and my um doubled eggs I'm sauteing slowly, and that's going to be my dinner for tonight. Gotta smell so freaking good. I wish I had another bell pepper, but I'm not going to the store. I'm using what I got. I'm not going to the store. So, yeah. Some stuff I do need to get. I might have to go early. I don't know. We shall see. While I'm cooking, I'm gonna eat it now because I don't think I'm gonna want to eat it after I eat that. Mm. This is so good. You know what's funny? I haven't had one in a while. I've been doing pretty good with the sweets. So, didn't want to throw these out. I was like, let me try more peanut butter. <laughs> so I ate it with peanut butter. And there's three of them. One broke. Mm -hmm. A meal. Um, yeah. That's what I'm eating. I got a little bit of baby rays. I don't know. My taste buds with this Chipotle stuff wasn't too, wasn't too good. So, um, yeah, I, mm, I need a little more flavor or something. It's just something with my taste buds. I don't know what it is, y'all, but I wasn't really feeling it. And we bought that because a lady was doing these samples with something with the Chipotle sauce. And it was really good. Well, the Chipotle spices. And it was good, but I don't like it. So, I got another rice cake. That is number two. That's going to be my dessert. And I got my ginger ale and I got my water as well. So this is my meal for the day. And I did pretty good. I did not eat nothing, guys. It is 530. I did not eat anything. All I ate was a, um, well, I, I did. I'm lying. A peppermint. But I'm trying to figure out if peppermint or gum. I know with the sugar it could be. But I don't know if the peppermint I had had, um, that what is that sweetener or either it was real sugar but i will find out i felt kind of bad after i ate it because i was doing so good but it was just getting close time to my time to eat so yeah um i did really good i think that i can pull through they say it gets better so i'm just gonna keep pushing but this is my meal today guys all right y'all well i'm already getting full and this is what i ate i didn't even touch that I've been drinking a little, I only took like a couple sips, look, that's still basically heavy. So, I'm already getting full. 
I'm gonna see how much more I can get down. I know they say your stomach shrinks, so I know <clears throat> that has a lot to do with it. But I'm like, should I eat this or should I eat my peanut butter thing and save this for tomorrow for dinner? No, nah, because I'm gonna want something else. But then eating too much makes you like, I feel like I'm eating too fast and I'm not. I'm really not, y'all. Um, you know how you eat too fast and you feel like you want to, oh, that first day, remember I told you how I felt? That's how I'm feeling. Excuse me. So we shall see if I can get more of this down. End up eating the chicken and um, most of my beans. And I ate my um, uh, rice cake. And I still got like uh, about half of this left. I'm going to sip on that before it's time for us to go but yep that was my one meal a day and now i'm going to be back into after i drink this i want to get this down before um seven because it's five to seven if i do it at five is to seven if i do it at six is to eight so yeah so those are my windows like five to seven or six to eight depending on how hungry i am if i can't wait till six i'll do five if not i'll do six so yep i'm gonna drink this up and then i'll just be sipping on my water after that so today 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 as you can see i shared everything that i put in my mouth with you guys today um and yeah i felt really full then um we got ready went and went to naya's um first um sword throwing class and she totally enjoyed it, it was a it was a good experience she was smiling the whole time i was smiling back at her but okay so guys this is the sword throwing class but we were surprise because it actually is sword throwing but she's also going to be teaching belly dancing so it's going to be like how to dance with a sword and um they're single sorting now for beginners and then they're going to get into double sorting so naya truly enjoyed herself i enjoyed watching her smile and being into something that she is so ecstatic about being a part of so yeah i said i would share a little bit with you guys so this was her first time coming and these are really really sharp real genuine swords they are so beautiful all right guys i i can say i'm just really trying to build willpower i know it's only been three days into this omad which is one meal a day fasting um intermittent fasting which is the warrior they call it the warrior one because it's like anything over 20 hours or whatever so it's like i ate at between if i eat between five if i eat at five it'll be five to seven if i eat at six it'd be six to eight so i try to keep it within 23 24 hour span of time that i eat so i can't eat again till tomorrow around five or six depending on how i feel so that's kind of where i'm at with that right now um you guys see what i have for dinner I felt like it was too much, but then after I, drinking that ginger ale helps to, I don't know, make more space after I get a couple belches out, it makes more space and I can, um, you know, get a little bit more, um, food in and so that's what I did, so I did get everything down. I'm just trying to find ways to, um, get my mind off of the actual fasting and and the part of not eating um and i was t listening to this guy's video he said a lot of times when you're looking forward to something that's because you're feeling like that's a better feeling or that's something you want better than the feeling that you're in now he's like you got to learn how to focus and be content during the fasting stage before it's time to break the fast where you eat and so if you can master that then that's when you it's okay and it's getting better for you he was like and it takes you know a couple of days for that to happen for some people so it's like you don't want to always be looking forward to the meal and i hear a lot of people say after like fourth and fifth day is when um they're not looking at their clock like oh my gosh oh my gosh two more hours three more hours and that's kind of how i be i'd be looking forward to the food and i'm just looking like oh, i'm here i'm watching tv i'm trying to get into this i'm trying to hear this i'm trying to listen to this but oh my gosh oh my gosh five hours like i don't want that i don't want to be living like that um it's kind of frustrating because it's like um I don't think I'm eating really fast, but then again, I think I am, but I don't know. I'm trying to pace myself, chew my food and all that stuff. So it's not like I'm just scarfing it down and being ridiculous with it. But at the end of the day, um, it's like, I feel like, oh, I need to eat. I need to eat. I need to eat. I need to eat, you know? And yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to keep pushing because like I said, I wanted to do a whole week. 
Um, my plan is to get through this week and see if the things that people say is supposed to occur, like the hunger pains, not the hunger pains, the cravings, the always feeling hungry and all that stuff goes away. Now, somebody else just said something in the comments under a video and it was like he put Himalayan salt under his tongue every time he felt like um, he was hungry and it immediately took the hunger away. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to try that because um, I know sugar because I was thinking peppermints. But if they have sugar in them, you don't want to get any type of spike in insulin, which sugar spikes your insulin. That will make the fast break. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to try the Himalayan salt um, thing. Now I'm going to go work out. It's like 10 something or almost 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to midnight. Um tonight so basically it's like i'm going to the gym twice in one day sort of kind of but not really um so yeah we're gonna see how this works out i'm gonna try to do the salt thing by putting that under my tongue and see how that works um and just kind of go from there because i have been um tempted to oh i oh i want to oh i came home from the dance thing and i was just like oh the food smells so good like he was heating up the leftovers and um when he got when we got here um, the food that I had cooked earlier, I still smelt it in the kitchen. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't eat anything. What am I thinking? You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. I shall see and I will, you know, do it at my pace and figure this out for myself and just kind of go from there. The point of this is sharing the journey and being honest with you because somebody else might want to try OMAD. Somebody else might have tried OMAD. Somebody else might be going through OMAD. You just never know what you can get to inspire you from someone else, whether it be someone that did it, doing it, or getting ready to. You know, you can always learn something from someone else. So like I said, this is my journey. I'm sharing it. And that's kind of where I was. I got to get ready. Um, I'm going to relax for a little bit and finish watching a couple willpower videos. Then I'm going to get ready for the gym. And I'm going to go hard in the gym. And I was thinking like, boom, if I go at midnight, it's kind of cool because it's like I'm burning off everything I just eat. Well, I'm burning off what I ate too at, th at 4 o'clock in the morning once I get there. But I just feel like it's even closer to the time that I ate. So it's easier for me to really be burning it off. I don't know, just my thoughts. But yeah, let me get off of here. I don't want to make this too long. And I will see you guys in the next vlog on tomorrow, guys. Let's keep pushing. We got this, guys. We got this. We got this. All right? I love you guys. Later.